looking at me, you are probably wondering what Saturday's laundry has to do with marine aquarium. Let me explain. We all know that for washing and cleaning we use detergents because water itself is not so effective in cleaning dirt. Modern detergents work in many ways that boil down to two main phases. Firstly, the water needs to get to the dirt and break it down into the tiniest particles. And secondly, the dirt has to be separated from the material that is being cleaned. But what if the material that is being cleaned is an aquarium water? Well, then we need to use different washing machines. We all agree that one of the effective ways of removing dirt from your clothes or your skin is the foam. And without going too deeply into the physics behind the whole process, in some sense we can imagine the foam as an adhesive which sticks to the bits of dirt. And it works in three steps. We have to produce the foam. We have to let it contact with the dirt. And then we have to remove it or simply flush the foam away. So now I will show you a small experiment that will give you an idea of how cleaning works in the reef aquarium. We will need three vials half full of salt water, a washing up liquid, an egg, a syringe. I've got three vials half full of salt water. So what is going to happen when I shake it? Obviously the water will be mixing with the air and we will get some kind of foam which will disperse pretty much as soon as I stop shaking. This happens because this is just a clean water. Let's add a drop of the washing up liquid to the second vial and repeat the exercise. Look now, almost instantly we get a lot of foam which stays without dissolving. So it is a good way of cleaning water, isn't it? In theory, yes, but obviously we must not add any detergent to the reef aquarium. So what other options do we have? Well, let's try protein. After all, this video is about protein schema. So let's break the egg and add a bit of the egg white to the water. And now let's give it a solid shake. As you can see, the proteins from the egg white work in similar way to the detergent, making the stable foam that doesn't disperse. And to complete the cleaning, all we need to do is to remove the foam from water. In the real situation, we don't add any protein to the water because it is already there, in form of organic waste, fish excursion or coral mucus. As you probably know, in our hobby we use special devices that are able to produce a foam if proteins are present in the water. They are called protein skimmers and they play a very important role in mechanical filtration in our home reef aquaria. In terms of cleaning, protein skimmers work in two ways. They remove proteins from aquarium water in form of the foam before they all decompose and they remove other substances that stick to the foam. There are also other benefits of using protein skimmers in the reef aquaria, like gas exchange or pH stabilization. But this subject will be covered in a separate episode. It is very important to understand that protein skimmers don't directly remove nitrates and phosphates from water, but they remove substances before they become nutrients. There are many different models of skimmers available on the market, but they all have the very same purpose, to mix the air and the water, and if proteins are present, they will produce the foam. Obviously, the way how they achieve it is much more advanced than I showed you in my little experiment. But skimmers are very effective in making the foam from even very minimal amount of proteins. Although there are many types of protein skimmers available on the market, they are all made of a few similar components. A pump that pulls water and air and produces millions of microbubbles which get injected into the reaction chamber where the microbubbles attract the molecules of proteins, which in very simple terms is a way of making foam. The bubbles go up and push the foam through the narrow neck into the cup, which is a kind of container that stops the dirty foam from returning back to the water. 
The last element of the schema is the return pipe, through which the clean water returns to the sump. Before I'll show you how the protein schema works, I would like to show you the pump and its impeller, as it was specially modified for effective production of the microbubbles. Through this nozzle, the pump pulls water and air, which get on the fast spinning rotor with plenty of needles on it. These needles mix and break down the air into the microbubbles. Let me now assemble the skimmer and prepare the demonstration of how it works. We have a small tank filled up with freshly prepared salt water with a protein skimmer in it. Every internal protein skimmer has an optimal water level, which is usually from 18 to 22 centimeters, but you need to check it in the manual. More advanced models have also the additional valve to adjust and tune their work. So let's switch the skimmer on and observe how it works. As you can see, the skimmer doesn't make any sticky foam in the pure salt water. This is normal because there are no proteins in the water, so nothing can form the foam. But let's add some and see what happens. Can you see the difference? The molecules of protein work like a detergent and create a foam that goes up and overflows to the cup. Skimmers are like washing machines, but instead of the washing powder, they use proteins to make the foam and clean the water. This is obvious simplification, but I hope it helped you to understand how they work and why they are good in our hobby. This is it for today. Please subscribe to my channel so you will never miss any episodes. Thank you for watching.